Hi, this is Dr. Desmond White from Desmond White Liver and Gastro Center. Today, let's talk about a common uh, referral test that is a fecal or cow blood testing. So, the many screening the body actually includes a test of uh, fecal or cow blood testing, FOPT. There's a more accurate form that is called FIT, fecal immunochemical test. So, they basically test for occult blood, that means hidden blood. So, how do we use it? Obviously, if you see blood in the stools, uh, you should see a doctor straight away because blood in the stool means something bleeding uh, in the digestive tract. Uh, interestingly, when I ask my patient, what's the color of your stools? Are they, bl are they black? Are they, are they red? Are they uh, white? Many of them tell me, I don't know, I don't know about my stools. Okay? I will encourage everybody that are watching this video to check your hep to, to look at the stools every day. The stool can tell you some information about yourself. Okay? So if you see blood in the stools, Straight away, please go and see a, uh, 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 your doctor for further testing. If you have no blood in the stools, that's great. And we can screen for any problem by having an FOPT or FIT, fecal or cup blood testing or fecal immunochemical test. How we do is that we just need a bit of the stools, put into a little jar, stand in the lab, we get the results the next day. So if the test result is negative, fantastic. We say that come back next year for the same test. If the test is positive, Oh, that means it implies something is bleeding. And the something can be as mild as a tongue mouth ulcer, acid reflux, gastritis, or hemorrhoid, pulse. It can be as serious as a H. pylori infection, uh, ulcer in the stomach, or even polyp and cancer in the colon. So, um, when do we do it? Uh, we do this sort of fecal gopla testing based on the chance that it's negative. Obviously, uh, because colon cancer is uncommon in young people, more common in old people, so when we are getting older, the risk of cancer increases. So we use the FOPT or FIT to screen for colon cancer and colon polyp. So far, the Ministry of Health of Singapore suggests that after age 50, 50, we should test the FIT, FOPT for everybody every single year. Any test that turn positive, they should see a doctor. In America, they have just changed the guideline to drop the screening age from 50 to 45. And that's because uh, all over the world, including Singapore, not sure why, okay? We are seeing more and more young people in the 40s and early 50s, they have large colon polyp or even liver cancer, or even colon cancer. So obviously, if you want to pick up more cancer, you want to pick them up early. They start screening at age 50, as age 45. So that's why in America, they have just changed it, I think two years ago, one, two years ago, to change to 45. In Singapore, the Health Promotion Board, the Ministry of Health, haven't changed it yet, so we will advise patient and the family physician to test for FOPT, FIT from age 50. Uh, there's some misperception about FIT. So some patient will say, uh, I go for health screening, FOPT is negative, I certainly don't have, liver, don't have colon cancer. Answer is wrong, obviously. Why? Because the cancer may not bleed every single year. So every single day. So if someone have a colon cancer, the cancer bleed, we detect the hidden blood, then we say, hey, maybe you got colon cancer, please do a scope. But even if someone has colon cancer, we are not sure that the cancer will bleed every single day. So a negative fecal cup blood test does not necessarily mean they have no cancer. So how do we go by? Well, by increasing the sensitivity, we ask patients to come every single year to check for the FIT. So hopefully we can increase the rate of, uh, uh, the rate of picking up a cancer with, with their presence. Another misperception is that some patients are very, really funny. They, they see a GP, they, see, they do an FIT that were positive. So the GP tells them, you better see a specialist for a scope because the FIT is positive. And then the patient will see another doctor and do another FIT and it was negative. They say, hey, one positive, but they have turned negative. Maybe I don't have anything serious. But that is wrong because even if there's something serious, like an ulcer or cancer, they may not bleed every single year. So not having a positive test or having a negative test after a positive test doesn't mean the first test is wrong. It just means that the, the, the lesion they have, the problem they have, are not bleeding every single year. So you just need one of the tests to be positive for you to uh, trigger your doctor to refer you to see a specialist. So there's another misperception. Another misperception is that they do one time that was negative and they forget about it and don't do it anymore. That's wrong. As I say, because even if they are liver cancer, even if they are colon cancer, the cancer may not bleed every single year. So uh, therefore, we try to increase the rate of pickup by doing it every year. So if you have a negative FIT, do see a doctor the following year, 12 months later, do another one and do it every single year. 
If it's positive, then you do a scope. If scope is normal, you don't need to check the stool for uh, FIT for the next five to 10 years. So I hope I clarify the use and the misperception of FIT. If you are more than 50 years old in Singapore, the government does pro propose, recommend that you do a colon cancer screening, such as uh, using FIT to test for colon cancer. So do get screened properly. Thank you.